return to It's Supernatural. Hello, it's Sid Roth here with Shane Warren. Shane is, thinks he just has a normal service, and he begins to hear from God and begins to prophesy things he had never heard before about the future of America for one hour. He is a known man that hears from God. And I want you, this is the first time he has shared this throughout the world on television. Now, you explain to me, you've been studying the history of nations, and there's what you call a 400-year cycle. There are numerous cycles in the Word of God said, you know, you have 400, 490 years and 70-year cycles, things of that nature. Right. But specifically, is when God spoke to Abraham and told Abraham before the children of Israel went into bondage, that they would be there for 400 years in Egypt. And he said they would be there, and then he said, because the iniquity of the Amorites has not yet come to the full. In other words, it would take 400 years for those the iniquity to build up to the place that provoked God's judgment. But, you know, a lot of people don't understand this. It's almost like God has much more mercy than any human you've ever met. And it's but because he has so much mercy, you think you can get away with sin? But what is going on is like a big barrel, and the sins are being poured into it, and there comes a tipping point. That's what you're talking we're, about. We're at the tipping point. In fact, it could be that America has went beyond the tipping point at this, at this phase. I hope not, and I pray not, but still, uh, that 400 years, there is some sort of prophetic cycle there. Most people focus on America only being a 230-some-odd years old, but the truth of the matter is the first compact in America was signed in 1620. So the 400-year cycle for America is going to come at the year 2020. Every single major uh, student of church growth, church history, is telling you that in America we're on a slippery slope, an incredible drastic decline uh, within the church and and so, so what, happens, what happens in a 400-year cycle to a country? The judgment of God is poured out. Okay, what is the major reason that the judgment of God is poured out on a nation historically at, at that 400-year cycle? Well, uh, the, one of the primary sins that is always uh, evident at that 400 years is sexual immorality. If you study every single major history or nation throughout the history of the world, they all reach drastic points of drastic decline and even destruction whenever they, the immorality had come to the full. And it manifested it in itself in every single form of perversion uh, that you can imagine. And that is happening right now in America. Well, well, the classic example I think of from the Bible is Sodom and Gomorrah. Absolutely, Sodom and Gomorrah. And America, in many ways, in fact, in my opinion, has went way beyond Sodom and Gomorrah. Now tell me about what God has shown you about the four wings. Yeah. There, uh, the book of Revelation says there's four angels that stand on the four corners of the earth. These angels have control of four winds. These are not natural winds. These are spiritual winds, uh, but they manifest themselves in natural ways. Throughout world history, you study history, you'll find out there are four winds that always have shaped nations, uh, controlled uh, the, the course of world history. One is the wind of war. Another one is the wind of economy. Another one is the wind of religion and uh, the wind of politics. And these four winds are blowing. And God began to show me these four winds are blowing all over the world at the same time and they're escalating, Sid, and they're, they're creating for us the perfect storm. And the reason I say the perfect storm is because God prophesied this storm was going to come to pass. So we know this is going to happen. The scripture is clear that it's going to happen. Unfortunately, this is not a popular message right now in it America. Is, is this happening right now? Absolutely. Look at the wars and the rumors of wars that are taking place all over the globe. The Middle East, the wind of war is blowing. The wind of war, terrorism, is, has encompassed the entire globe. Every nation has been affected by it. the wind of war. What about the wind of economics? Uh, you know, uh, somebody who would have to be totally ignorant uh, to world uh, events would say the wind of economics isn't blowing. It's not only blowing, it is storming around the world. Entire nations' economies are collapsing. Uh, entire governments on the world uh, are on the verge of bankruptcy. Just yesterday, I read a report that 46 
uh, of our states in the union had a hundred and sixty billion dollar shortfall last year in their budget. America is on the brink of bankruptcy, and 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 they're sharing with us a bunch of lies. Uh, it's not true. We're in trouble. Okay.